Thank you, uh, Professor Ma and uh, Chairman. It's my great honor to have this chance to talk about uh, the embryo and the oocyte uh, maturation. Uh, my main talks have two talks. The first talk is the prediction of embryonic development and clinical outcome following XC. According to the stage of the nuclear maturation division is by Dr. Tanaka from Japan. The second talk is the impact of an automatic timeless system EVA in an egg donation program by the Dr. Rockerford. Next slide. The first talk is regarding the oocyte maturation. Next slide. Uh, before we, I have the talk about the, 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 the paper from ASAN, I would, I would like to discussion, discuss about the Nomaski different differential infer interference contrast for sperm. The Nomaski optics can observe sperm morphology with high power field. So the so-called intracytoplasmic morphologically selected sperm injection is abbreviated as INSI compared to the conventional intracytoplasmic sperm injection with ICSI. So the Nomaski optics can observe clearly about the sperm morphology, but this is a randomized control study with sibling oocyte. The results they find there were no differences in fertilization rates and the embryo quality and with the embryo development rate between EC and NC. They also find there's well, no difference in pregnancy, implantation, and live birth rates between the EC and NC. So it seems no benefits to use the NC, use the high power field to select sperm in this randomized control studies. Next slide. Then I will talk about uh, uh, this paper pub, uh, presented in the ASN, ASRM. They use the uh, no masking optics to observe the old sites, chromosome status. They try to prediction of the embryonic development and the clinical outcome following EC according to the stages of nuclear maturation uh, division. Next slide. The background, the pre-ovulatory oocytes collected after control of ovarian stimulation are considered mature as the extrusion of the first probody during XC. However, embryonic development varies following XC for mor morphologically mature oocytes. So the aim of this study is to investigate the relationship between various nuclear stages of M2 oocytes and the embryonic development and clinical outcome. Next slide. <coughs> so this is a retrospective study. 53 patients with 53 cycles who were less than 38 years of age undergoing ICSI treatment. Oocyte retrieval was conducted after ovarian stimulation 
with TNH antagonist protocol with gonadotropins. The embryos were cultured for five days until blastocyst <coughs> before transfer. All sites with no phosphor body, irregular shape, or brownish cytoplasm were excluded. The M2O chromosomes were cleared easily, recognized in a round transparent substance in which the chromosome body was centrally located using the masking optics. Next slide. <coughs> so the oocytes were divided into four groups. The group A, oocytes that had the M2 chromosomes arranged in two lines with translucent transparent area with chromosome aligned in the central part with two lines. The B all sites at prometaphase 2 not yet arranged in two lines. The chromosome not uh, well arranged. The group C, the all sites with irregularly arranged chromosomes. The group D, the all sites without chromosomes visualized. Next slide. The results show the oocytes that had the M2 chromosomes arranged in two lines, the group A, had a higher fertilization, cleavage, blastocyst formation, pregnancy rates. The oocytes of group D, is the, the chromosomes were not visualized, had no fertilization. The group C, the chromosomes are disorganized, had a very low blastocyst rate, and uh, no pregnancy achieved. The miscarriage rates were difficult to compare between the groups because the case number is small. The group D also have B, also have lower fertilization, cleavage, blastocyst, and the pregnancy rate, and the one miscarriage. It's irregular arranged the chromosomes as group D, B. Next slide. So the conclusion is the all sites had the M2 chromosomes arranged in two lines, well arranged, had a higher fertilization, cleavage, blastocyst, and pregnancy rates compared with all sites in other three groups. Identification of chromosome stage appear to have a high pre potential to predict the embryonic development and clinical outcome. The clinical implications are irregular arranged chromosomes might be a sign of nuclear degeneration. Longer pre-incubation time, such as four to six hours, might be beneficial for pro-metaphase two chromocytes to advance to M2 oocytes. Next slide, please. So my second talk is regarding embryo culture and incubator conditions. Next slide. Before I go through to the next uh, paper, uh, we can discuss one recent paper published by Kogenheim in Fertility Sterility 2013. They use the automatic computer-assisted timeless image systems with EVA, the early embryo viability assay, 
plus standard conventional day three morphology. They can significantly improve their ability to predict embryos reaching the usable blastocyst stage. The usable means the suitable for transfer or freezing. They found the using the additional EVA parameters can help us to predict blastocyst formation with higher specificity and higher positive predictive value compared with conventional day three uh, morphology. Next slide. So we will talk about uh, the a paper, the poster in ASIM. They use the uh, EVA automatic timeless system in an egg donation program. Next. So uh, the study program background, the embryo selection technique are crucial to perform elective single embryo transfer in patients with good prognosis, avoiding multiple pregnancies, especially in patients with advanced maternal age receiving egg donation program. The EVA test is based on morphokinetics markers such as P2. The P2 is the time division from two to three cells. Maybe it has to be mentioned as the CC2 by Professor Ma. So maybe a different uh, name in different papers. And the uh, P3 means time division from the three to four cells. Maybe the S2, the synchronicity between the three and four cells. And uh, the time less markers maybe include the P1, P, P3. You can see P2 is two to three cells, P3, three to four cells. The test provides three categories. The professor Mike, maybe the previous paper, just two categories, the high and low. But they have the three categories, the high, medium, and low. Probability, probability of blastocyst formation. The purpose of this study is to evaluate this novel computer automatic timeless systems as an embryo selection tool in the egg donation program. They are focused on ongoing pregnancy rate, whether it can improve the ongoing pregnancy rate. Next slide. This is an observational and prospective studies in 200 34 patients with egg donation program. They are divided into two groups. The first group, study group, there is 112 recipients. This is a EVA uh, timely system put into an incubator. And this is conventional uh, incubator, the second group with control group without EVA and is the 122 recipients. Both groups were comparable according to age, all size donated, and fertilization rate. At least 12 fresh all size from donors, less than 30 years donor, after an antagonist stimulation protocol, were donated to each recipient. IVF or EC was performed according to sperm parameters. A total of 2,120 embryos were obtained. In that, 976 been cultured into EVA and 1,144 without EVA system as controls. There were 234 transfers were performed with an average of 1.6 embryo per recipient. From, for embryo transfer to select the embryo according to the morphological criteria, 
with Gardner Brassos's classification, also together with the EVA ranking, prediction ranking, the EVA highest prediction embryo will be transferred. Next slide. The results show using the EVA test increased the clinical pregnancy rate 75% and ongoing pregnancy rate 67% compared to the without EVA control com incubator com conventional parameters to select embryo is 63% uh, clinical pregnancy rate and the 52% ongoing pregnancy rate. Next slide. If transfer embryo with highest predicted developmental potential will further increase the pregnancy rate. If the highest ranking from the EVA system, the pregnancy rate is 87% an ongoing pregnancy rate, yes. But the control group, let's compare with the pregnancy rate, is the control group is 63%. Next slide. <coughs> so the conclusion is, the EVA test enhanced selection of the most suitable embryos for transfer on day five and led to increased pregnancy rates Transferring embryos with the highest predicted developmental potential leads to further increase the in the pregnancy rate. The clinical implication means in an egg donation program, the selection of the embryo with highest developmental potential using EVA may lead to improve pregnancy rates with ESET single embryo transfer, a preferred practice to reduce obstetrics risk and adverse outcomes. Next slide, please. The summary of this talk. Next slide. By the Dr. Tanaka papers, they found identification of chromosome stages has a high potential to predict the embryonic development and clinical outcome. A longer pre-incubation, five to six hours, might be beneficial for pro-metaphase 2 oocytes to advance to metaphase 2 oocytes. By Dr. Roca Ford, in the egg donation program, selecting the embryo with the highest developmental potential using EVA system may lead to improved pregnancy rates with ESETs a preferred practice to reduce obstetrics risk and adverse outcome. Next slide, please. <coughs>